So here we've got this beautiful green python here today at Reef HQ. This one's called Carmen. She's been here for about seven years now. And I reckon what we'll do is we'll give her a feed. Now what does she eat? Well she doesn't go to the cafe and buy anything there. I know she'd like to. She actually feeds upon rats and birds. You can see now that Carmen's been offered a rat and you'll notice she uh, she does grab that food quite quickly because she's an ambush predator. She is a non-venomous animal and the way she kills her prey item is by constricting it. So what happens is every time that prey item breathes in she gets tighter and tighter and tighter. Now what she'll do is once she's located the head of the rat, she'll gently open that mouth and you'll notice she'll start to actually move her head over the rat and upwards. During that process though, you'll notice one side of the jaw will come forward and then the other side of the jaw will come forward. And then this will continue on as she actually almost walks her jaws over the rat. Snakes have two separate lower jaw bones, so they're actually not joined. So this means that they can actually uh, eat very large prey items relative to their head size. Eventually she'll get to the end there and then once that rat's down past that throat she'll use what we call a peristaltic action to actually push that rat down to her stomach. Now her stomach is about one third of the way down her body. That food will be digested and after about another week and a week and a half it'll pass through her and then she'll be ready for the next food item. Uh, that's the feeding process for Carmen. It's a fascinating process to watch. In fact, most people, even people that are scared of snakes, they enjoy watching a snake feed because it's such a novel concept to have an animal that can actually consume a food item uh, without uh, chewing it. Snakes are a wonderful animal and a lot of people are very scared of them. Once we educate ourselves and learn about them, uh, people tend to get fascinated by snakes and they realise how interesting they are. So hopefully this video is one small step towards educating people about how beautiful snakes are. And if you look at Carmen, she's a fine example of a really, really pretty snake. We all love her here and we're hoping you as the public will also love her as well.